Dromeo, home to dinner. By Dromeo? By me? By thee. And this thou didst return from him, that he did buffet thee, and in his blows denied my house for his, me for his wife. Did you converse, sir, with this gentle woman? I, sir? I never saw her till this time. Uh, villain, thou liest, for even her very words didst thou deliver to me on the march. I never spake with her in all my life. Well, how can she thus then call us by our names, unless it be by inspiration? <laughs> how ill agrees it with your gravity to counterfeit thus grossly with your slave, abetting him to thwart me in my mood? <laughs> be it my wrong, you are from me exempt. But wrong not that wrong with more contempt. Come. Come, I will fasten on this sleeve of thine. Thou art an elm, my husband, I a vine, whose weakness married to thy stronger state makes me with thy strength to communicate. <gasps> to me she speaks. She moves me for her theme. What, was I married to her in my dream? Or? Sleep I now, and think I hear all this. What error drives our eyes and ears amiss? Until I know this sure uncertainty, I'll entertain the offered fallacy. Dromeo, go bid the servant spread for dinner. Oh, for my beads, I cross me for a sinner. This is the fairy land. Oh, spite of spites, we talk with goblins, oofs, and sprites. If we obey them not, this will ensue. They'll suck our breath or pinch us black and blue. Why praise thou to thyself and answer not? Dromeo, thou drone, thou snail, thou slug, thou sot. I am transformed, master, am I not? I think thou art in mind, and so am I. Nay, hey, master, both in mind and in my shape. Thou hast thine own form. No, I am an ape. If thou art changed to aught, tis to an ass. Tis true. She rides me, and I long for grass. 